Well, hello everybody, Steve here. And uh, as I think many of you have heard, during the month of February, we're spreading joy. We're spreading joy everywhere uh, we can go as a church. And that's kind of exciting. I, I like this actually. And we're asking the Holy Spirit to do this for us because the source of joy is the Holy Spirit. As some of you know, um, the fruit of the Spirit is joy. So certainly the Holy Spirit is kind of happy about this whole thing that uh, we're spreading his joy around our island and uh, everywhere in the world that we can go. And it, it certainly is relevant, wouldn't you say? It's as, it's as if there's this dark cloud hanging over everybody. Everybody I talk to, uh, Christians, non-Christians, is this cloud. And uh, joy breaks up that cloud. And it takes us outside of ourselves and takes us outside of our current situation. And uh, so I'm, I'm trying to spread some joy everywhere I go. And I, of course, I do that based on what I wear. Now you, you say, Steve, what are you talking about? Well, this uh, old white shirt is what I wear to work every day that I cycle. I cycled up this morning. And let me tell you, I put this white shirt on and it felt really good coming up uh, the four miles from my house because uh, it was a bit misty and uh, foggy this morning and I was glad to have this white shirt. Of course, I wear it so they can see me coming and they don't run me over. And uh, so I, I like my white shirt and you're, you're saying, well, what's that got to do with spreading joy? Well, the source of our personal joy is based on what we wear, not this white shirt or any other clothing that you can buy from Walmart. I'm talking about the robe of righteousness, covered with the, the, uh, the robe of Jesus' righteousness, not our righteousness, not at all, his righteousness, his perfect record, that like a robe, like, like a, a garment, like a piece of clothing, covers me. His righteousness covers me because my record, let me tell you what, there's guilty stains all over the place, but not his. His is absolutely perfect. His righteousness, his righteous robe covers me, makes me 100% approved, 100% acceptable, makes it so that I qualify to be with him forever. And of course, we get all of this wonderful truth from the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and verse 10, which goes, He's clothed me, God, the Lord Jesus, has clothed me with the garments of salvation. And then it gets better in the next line, He's covered me with the robe of righteousness. That's Isaiah 61.10. You can sort of look at that, which wouldn't be a bad idea, because this coming Lord's Day, that's the very text I'm going to use for our call to worship, because this is how that verse begins. I'll greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul will exalt in my God. And so that's where our joy comes from, that I get to be covered in the righteousness of Christ. So I hope you're joyful today, joyful because you have the robe of righteousness on you, I hope our church is joyful. I just hope we're the, the happiest church that there could ever be. And that's how we're gonna spread joy. So uh, trust you're doing well today. Uh, if you need a little bit of encouragement, why don't you try Isaiah 61 and verses 10 and 11, and you're gonna be all ready for this coming Lord's Day. <music>